Hey everyone, Rich from High Level How To here, and today we're going to look at a secret feature in High Level Custom Values. Now, strictly speaking, it's not secret, no one is trying to hide it, but I don't think many people know about the feature, and it's a really powerful tool that can save you a lot of time. So, let's dive right in. If we start then here on our high level dashboard, if we want to find custom values, we come down to settings and we see custom values here. And what we'll find is that some have already been created for us. So what is a custom value? A custom value is some sort of field that you can create that isn't tied to an individual user and which you can use right across the site in all sorts of different ways. So uh, these ones here have been created, but you can create your own custom value. And perhaps what you want to do is to create some legal wording. Often businesses need to have uh, some wording at the bottom of a website, maybe at the bottom of emails, and they're gonna have it in all sorts of different places, different funnels, different sites, different bulk emails that are going out. And the challenge comes, what if it changes? So we'll come back to how you can use these and why they're powerful, but for now, let's put some legal wording in here and click save on that. Now what we're gonna find is that we can use this field here anywhere we want to, and it's gonna re be replaced with this when we go live. So if we copy that now, we come back over, and let's say we are creating some sort of a website in here, and we let's just go in and create a, a brand new website so that we can add a new page. And as we come in, we'll create from blank. And we're wanting to create some kind of footer at the bottom. So I will just create a row down here. Now we could type out our legal wording in here, but then the challenge comes, and this is the first use case for custom values. What if that legal wording changes? And I had this recently with a client who moved their registered office and we needed to change their legal wording. And they had uh, an LMS, they've got sites, they've got funnels, they've got email templates that are going out that all have that wording on the bottom. And if I had to change it in all of those places, it would have been a real hassle. But instead, what we can do is put in the field here, the value, if you like. And now when we click save on that and we preview, and we see here, when it actually goes live, it gets replaced with the wording that we set. And now if we use this custom value tag here, right across our site, one change, and we can change things in multiple places. Don't forget as well, if this is some sort of a copyright notice, there are some other built-in values which you don't have to set up at all, which can be really useful. So. Let me just paste one in here to show you what that looks like. Underscore now dot year is gonna give you the year. So again, if we click save on that, come over here and refresh this page, you can see now we've got a copyright notice and some legal wording. And all we're ever gonna to have to change, because this is gonna update it for each year, is if the legal wording needs to change, then we can get that sorted in one place. So that's the first use of a custom value like this, is that if you wanna have wordings that you're using in lots of places and it needs to change, you can do that easily. The second thing that makes it really powerful is if you are wanting to use it in messaging. If we look here in the messages, we can see that custom values here are available here. So if we know we can copy and paste it, but they're also available in this dropdown. So the second use here is that we can use it to create commonly used bits of text. So if there's things that we are often saying in messages 
and it's always the same thing. We can go put it in a custom value. It's now here available in a drop down, either in an ad hoc message like we're creating now, or in a message that you're creating in a template or in a workflow automation, anything like that. So the second usage is for commonly used phrases, and you can put a quite a lot of text can't put formatting in there, but you can put quite a lot of text. It's now available to you in messaging. And don't forget, this is not just emails, but all kinds of messaging that this is going to work in. Third thing that can be really powerful is with snapshots. Now, we've got another video about snapshots. If you want to find out how you can create snapshots and why you should be leveraging snapshots, then we can post a link down below to that video and you can find out about that there. But what you see here is you've got things like logo image URL and different uh, fields here that you can populate. And you can put these into your snapshot. So if you're working with a particular niche and you've built out a website, rather than having to go in and customize it to each business that you take on, you can create a number of those elements on that website, things like the legal wording, but also taglines and even the URL for a logo. And then it's a simple job to populate that for a new client. And all of a sudden that email or website template that you have got has now been customized to their business. So the third really useful thing is with snapshots to enable you to deploy snapshots quickly and easily and have your clients thinking that you've just spent a whole load of time on a website and it hasn't taken you as much time as you might think. You can be more efficient with your time. So that's custom values. They are really useful. They can save you huge amounts of time, worth leveraging them. If you're going to be putting the same text in lots of different places, worth using custom values. I often use it for social media links and things like that as well. If you've been seeing this system and you're not yet signed up for high level and you'd like to give it a try, then go to ghltrial.com ghltrial.com, link on the screen and down below. And that's going to give you a two-week free trial. If you like the look of this and think you want to find out more about this platform, then head there and you can give it a go and see how it works. If you found this video helpful, love it if you could give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe. And if there are other features in High Level that you want to know about, or if you already know about High Level and you think there's some other underappreciated features, drop a comment down below. We'd love to hear what those are.